So the biggest fish I've ever had my eyes on at Lake Fork kind of goes back to when I was talking about skipping school. I was in high school, I got a boat, got a truck, and I was bed fishing on the weekend, and I find this fish on a bed. It's in, everybody knows, it's in, it was in Eugene's ditch, and it was on a big stump in the middle of Eugene's ditch. And the back of Eugene's ditch in the middle was like 14, 15 foot deep, and the tree was right in the middle of it. And the stump was probably about five or six foot down, and it was hollow, about that big on top. And I was just bed fishing down the bank, down the bank, down the bank. And I looked out to the right out in the middle of the cut in Eugene's ditch. And I just saw a great big just shadow swim off that stump. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, was that a carp or something? You know, it's huge. So I fished on down, fished on down, you know, came back the other side. And I looked back out on, I knew where that stump was. Obviously, I looked back out there and I could see her. It was like a 16 or 17 pound largemouth. And she had a male and she was paired up inside of that stump. You know, it was hollow. So she had a little concave little spot. She set in this monster stump, you know, like six, seven foot deep, but in like 15 foot of water. And that's where a lot of those big ones spawn on fork, you know, especially when the timber was super thick, they would spawn on the arms of those big trees and on the stumps and stuff. And I, I've, you know, froze up when I saw her biggest one I'd ever seen by far. I've had a couple 14, 15 pounders, like trying to eat little bass on my line, but this one was gigantic you know i've had a 14 pounder in my boat or 1388 one of my clients caught this fish dwarfed it i don't, still don't to this day i don't know how big it was so set up on her try to fish for her i fished for her couldn't get her to bite she'd swim off couldn't get her to bite swim off and this was like when i was really addicted to fishing lake fork in high school it was on a sunday i think so i'm like there ain't no way you know i'm going to school tomorrow so I skipped school for like three days, three or four days. And I would, I stayed on this fish the rest of the afternoon, tried to catch her, fished for her all night for like two nights. So I skipped two days of school, fished for her all day, all night, two different days, or, you know, two nights and two days after that. And I hooked her one time at night. I sat on it, sit on her at night. I'd, I would go in at night, and like get something to eat, but I'd come right back out, fish for, fish for, fish for. I don't remember what I did. I took like a 20 ounce Dr. Pepper bottle and a glow stick or something and put it beside the stump so I could see it at night. I did something. Maybe it was a buoy that those little marker buoys glowed in the dark. Maybe it was that, but I marked it and I would just pitch and I'd feel my way up that stump and land it in there. One time in the two nights I hooked her and she just dominated me like just straight my hook out. I had just a, you know, a light, didn't have a big enough hook back then, dominated me and never hooked her again. And uh, the next day, I never saw her again after that. Like, I scared her off when I hooked her that time. But that's the biggest fish I've ever seen on Lake Fork was spawning on the top of a stump in the middle of Eugene's ditch. And I got in a lot of trouble for skipping school and uh, didn't catch her. Yeah.